You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey everybody, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2014 here from sunny Las sunny. Vegas, New Mexico. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. And welcome back. See, Guess what? What, John? We have a very special guest. A very special guest for CES Live. We have a lot of special guests, but this one's especially special because this is Brad from Ustream, and actually none of this would be happening no. without you. Yay! All your eyeballs, thanks to Brad. That's right, yes. All, you're able to watch this because it is his, his brainchild, his invention. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Awesome stuff. We're streaming. Looks amazing. Yeah, how do you like it? This is a li we've, we've supersized our it streaming looks set. very complicated, I'll be honest. A lot of cameras. <laughs> Look, looks We do have a lot of cameras. And have you seen, we actually have little GoPro. Let's show them the out. There you go. There's the, there's the camera the over GoPro here, the, yep, the bullpen nice. camera. And we have the outside camera. Nice. That's our little, we've got a little hero GoPro 3 over there in the corner. Right. Now, it is a lot more crowded than it looks in that shot. It is. Yes. You know what's weird about that? Yeah, actually, you need, because you need one down. Yeah, down that hall there, because this is the big open area, so it looks a little. I less can't even see down that hall with so many people. Well, yeah, it just looks like a continuous stream of people down that hall right there. You know how I just saw a walk by? Who? Fifty Cent. Did you really? Yeah. Like right here, or you I mean got like somewhere over else? by a bodyguard or pushed out of the way? Did we? Really? Oh. They were like Fifty Cent coming through. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it was his birthday. It was nice. his birthday. I have a question. Uh, how many different? How many different? Broadcasts are coming out of CES on Ustream right now. You think? Uh, yeah, I think I don't know. I don't know this year. I know last year we had like maybe like twenty. Yeah. So we power a lot of the the corporate customers as well. Yeah. So like we did the Samsung big keynote that yep. Yep. had some controversy around it. <laughs> yeah, um, we heard. And you know, we'll, so we'll do a lot of the corporate broadcasts. We'll work with you know, uh, on the media side, people that are doing coverage as well, TechCrunch or and, yep. and others. Um, so there you know, there's probably fifteen to twenty of like traditional or true, you know, broadcasters. And then, you know, we have mobile apps, and so there's usually hundreds of people walking around. Citizen broadcasters. Citizen journalists, you know, broadcasting as well. So. I love that, that's fantastic. I would argue that far, far more people are getting their coverage uh, through Ustream of, they're like experiencing CES through Ustream than are actually here, you know? Sometimes, you know, uh, we, uh, I know last year, we've seen that with some traditional broadcasts. Like, remember when the uh, Mars rover landed on, oh, yeah. on Mars? More people watched it live on Ustream than watched it on CNN and MSNBC combined. How do you keep staggering. the infrastructure up for all that? Well, we, uh, we've spent a lot of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Threw a lot of and, money at it. <laughs> and so, you know, we look, we, we've, one of the cool things about our company is we, we've, we've built almost all of our own technology. And so when you do that, it's allowed us to, and, and as a startup ha, you know, with limited resources, we've had to build things in a very smart manner, very resource constrained manner. Um, and we've, you know, the guys on our team have built an amazing uh, media server product that actually is our own, that has allowed us to really scale this in, in, a, in a cost effective way. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta architect it the way that was the best way to do it. You didn't have to use a bunch of off-the-shelf products and maybe get the performance and then not have anywhere to go with Correct. it. Correct. And if we used the off-the-shelf products, we wouldn't be sitting here because it would have been too expensive. <laughs> yeah. It's the reality. I mean, like, we, we, we did uh, the Sony PlayStation 4 announcement. Uh, this was a couple months ago when, when it came out. That broadcast, which was actually a corporate product launch, um, which if you think about it, is pretty amazing. That broadcast had a million simultane over a million simultaneous viewers. It hit 8 million people live and over a million simultaneous concurrent. Um, and when you actually do the calculation yeah, at the say, rates yeah. that they were streaming at, we actually accounted for almost 1% of the internet's traffic during that two hour block. Wow. 1% of the internet. The internet. What's an average stream, like these guys that are watching right now, what's the, what, what are they usually pulling down? A couple hundred kilobits or a little uh, less? A it, little more? It, uh, it, it, it's been going up over the last, I mean when we yeah. started the company, Six years ago, it was, I mean, we, it was 200 kilobits per second or something. It was like yeah. the average. Um, now I think we're in the six, 700 range. Oh, wow. you know, a lot of people are starting to do, I don't know what you guys are doing. Because we're pushing out 720p, so. Yeah, a lot of people are starting to do more and more HD stuff. Um, you can even do broadcast now in HD from your mobile phone. Um, yeah. In, in true 720p well, You're line. replacing television for a lot of people, because television is still, you have to go and find the television. It doesn't come to you, but Ustream is everywhere that you have a screen now. 
Yeah, we've always uh, been very much tried to be a, a platform, an enabling platform for broadcasters. You know, we very we stood on the shoulders of companies like YouTube and, and Twitter, um, and I've I've always been really passionate about the democratization of technology so that anybody could do this. You know, you know, you rewind. Yeah, 20 can years you ago, they let us do it. Yeah, yeah. You rewatch. I mean, it was only the major media companies could afford to do something like this. There was this. satellite yeah. trucks outside satellite a couple years ago at CES. Yeah. Nothing like this could exist. Nothing, and, and even the, and so not, not just us, but the hardware has got to a point where suddenly you can build beautiful sets like this and not to spend a million dollars to to be able yeah. to do it, right? Yeah. You know, 20 years ago you did, and so then with platforms like ours, we've taken that a step further where we want. Not only people like citizen journalists to do it, but even more and more, you know, we're working with enterprises and, and companies. You know, we have the thesis at Ustream that we think CMOs are becoming media companies at, at major corporations. So we work with even companies like LinkedIn and S Salesforce. They're all media trained. They're all presenting all the time. They're all very good now. Everyone is being raised thinking because of reality TV. Everyone's thinking their life is being broadcast anyway. Yeah, and, and now you, you can do it. And you don't have to go. It, you know, if you look back 20 years ago, if you wanted to get the news out, you had to go through someone who had distribution. Yeah. I mean, that was it. Now you can have your own distribution direct. You just have to work on it a little bit, you know. But but it's it's very reasonable to build it out, and then it's up to you to to say the right things and to build an audience and to to be the kind of company that people want to watch. And that and, and, and even the traditional guys are taking notice. And and you know during the Occupy movement, we had a guy named Tim Pool, who was um, a guy who was 24 years old, had no experience on the internet, broadcasting from his phone the Occupy movement. And he was able to get like two million viewers. He's now built a brand for himself. He's, he's, he's he has followers, and he did that just all through the social web. Yeah, you you learn how to do it. You learn how to make yourself a brand. Yeah, Absolutely. awesome. What what uh, big plans do you have for CES? Are you just here checking things out, or yeah. what are you doing? I like to come. I've been coming like the last probably four or five years, um, and I, I just like to walk around and, and just sort of absorb it. In fact, I was doing it early, and I'm gonna do it in a little while. I put on headphones. I don't talk to anybody. And I just walk around and just go look at everything and just think and just absorb it. And what's, in, what's exciting about this year, it's gotten me excited, is just the, the connected devices. It, it's going it, insane. It's, it's about yeah. to, it, it's, it's exploding, but it's about to really, really explode. Oh, yeah. And I'm since, you can see it here, yeah. some of the stuff that is just unbelievable. I think it's all a connected toothbrush. Do you get a sense based on what people are broadcasting on Ustream, what the hot products are, what the trends are? Um, well, Shows like yours obviously feature a lot of that, uh, but I think what we, what we see is what's what's hot in terms of content. Um, you know, so we have, we have we have a, in, in our office. I think you've seen it. We have a globe that actually shows by city the viewership that's happening. And, um, <clears throat> and I remember when we went uh, <clears throat> a couple months ago, there was this huge the, the global showing this huge viewership spike in the Ukraine. We we're like, what in the world's going on in the yeah. Ukraine? Turns out there was this massive protest happening with citizen journalists. So, you know, some of the product stuff we see, but what we really see is what's going on in the world. The trends of where the media's hot and what's going on. And it's not traditional celebrities. Like, you know, maybe Dustin, Dustin Bieber will light up your Ustream, but maybe something like that event or someone who just yeah. finds something really interesting. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it's celebrity, sometimes it's, uh, again, political events, sometimes it's gaming content. You know, more and more we're on the PlayStation 4 now. You can actually click the share button and broadcast your gameplay straight to Ustream, which is really neat. It's awesome. Uh, All my little brother does. Call of Duty. Really? <laughs> Call yeah. of Duty, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, I like your idea of putting on the headphones and walking through. I have not tried that because you get accosted by people constantly, but if you can just look like you're, you know, yeah, not yeah. available, then maybe you can. And you they'll can still grab piece. you a little bit, a but, little. but in the background noise, it's, 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 it's very loud here. It is, and yeah. So putting on some music and just sort of listening and thinking and, you know, I, I, it's, to me, it's, it's, I enjoy it. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming by. We appreciate thanks. you stopping by. And thanks for helping us make all this happen. Thanks, always. Anytime. Pushing thanks all the pixels. Me. Yeah. I'm, I know Callie wishes she was here, but we'll catch up with you later on. Okay, sounds good. Good to Enjoy see you. the rest of the show. I will. I will. All right. Thanks, John. We'll see you later. Thanks, Brad. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. You guys, that's Brad from Ustream, the man who made it all possible. Stick around. We've got a lot more live coverage here coming out of CES 2014, and we'll be right back.